previously on Fire Emblem Three Houses. She missed her little, missed her little teddy bear. What the hell? Get a brigade over here now? Man, what is, this time skip is getting weird. This doesn't make any sense. This continuity is all over the place, all right? You should not be here. You know that. Where are these two orange casts? Where have you been, huh? You weren't here before. You shouldn't be here now. All right? If, if the other cats were made, they wouldn't have made these two orange as fuck Garfield cat. This game doesn't make any sense. My immersion is ruined. Thanks a lot, Kitty Brigade. Thanks for ruining the game for me. Now, now onwards, onwards, class. class. To, to war! war! <laughs> Nico B, back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. When we last left off, we got caught up with all of our students after five years of sleeping and doing jack shit. Oh, so this screamed in our ear to get the fuck up, busy! Ah, nah, another year, another year, Sothis. And so many things have changed. But we'll say, uh, getting the resolutions to so many of these different supports has really been satisfying. I kind of wasn't really sure because I kind of felt like you know, so much had changed, right? Like five years had gone by and I hadn't talked to them since then. It's almost felt like there should have been like a a buffer like support, like a, oh, get caught up and then a final support where we like get past whatever thing they've been talking about. But uh, it's actually worked really well. And it, it actually is more of along the lines of they have grown some, like, right? Like they've uh, proceeded to grow some since I last saw them. And so, you know, during that time, they they got to the point they need to, but based on usually the things that we talked about, which is really interesting, and I, I like that. By the way, I, I just feel like I need to say this real quick, just because this is this was in the last thing that I showed up in. That that wasn't actually a regular video; it was during a live stream. And while I, I, I do apologize for anyone who might be just watching this series in a playlist uh, many months or years down the line and have no idea what I'm talking about, but for the present now, I just I feel like I need to just say this. So on Saturday, I, I got sick when I was uh, streaming Outlast 2, and it, it wasn't because of the game. I I had some uh, some chili that my my dad had actually made uh, uh, for me earlier that day, um, and apparently he put a fair amount of chili powder in it. Um, it tasted good. But chili power has a tendency to kind of fuck me up if I have too much of it. it is, I have the same reaction when I have like, you know, the taco seasoning they put in tacos and stuff. It, it kind of does the same thing to me, but it made me incredibly nauseous. Um, and basically it, it ended, I was like on the verge of throwing up. I fortunately ended the stream fa fast enough and then ran to the bathroom and threw up. But, <laughs> uh, uh, I just want to say, uh, I am sorry about that. Um, that really sucks. And I actually have two games I owe you guys and I owe you an Outlast 2 playthrough as well as later Alligator. I just want to tell you guys that I'm all right. Um, I'm not like dying or anything. It was really just a, a bad reaction to that. And actually I felt a lot better after I got it out of my system so to speak so i just feel bad because you know i promised you guys a live stream and i i was always fear because i do have tend to sometimes have stomach problems uh because of stupid shit and i always sort of feared that one day that would happen in the middle of a live stream and uh well i guess it had to happen eventually right if i kept streaming it was gonna bound to happen at some point um but i am sorry about that and i just want you guys to know i am feeling better and i do appreciate the the well wishes that you all sent me during that point. So uh, really, thank you. That honestly meant a lot to me. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Link Cario X said, when Three Houses was, was announced, Fire Emblem fans were really skeptical and negative as the game was showing that it was going to be very different from the traditional Fire Emblem games with the school theme. Add that to the Awakening, even though it saved Fire Emblem from its almost inevitable death, it was disappointing to veteran fans for simplicity and fates was a big mess even though it was successful sales wise and shadows of valentia was okay but it was a bit slept over after the first announcement intelligent systems the developers were silent for many months after that they start to introduce characters bios and bits of lore however the fans were still skeptical due to the school mechanics and there still wasn't very much hype it wasn't until e3 time skip trailer that the game got the attention from fans and newcomers as the time skip showed a completely different setting to those first trailers and images and really felt like fire emblem again with a war raging especially that broken dimitri after that the fandom went crazy like never been seen before in the fire emblem fandom it's the first time that both veterans and newcomers were at peace discussing and getting excited at everything nintendo released about three houses instead of throwing at each other's throats if not for the trailer i think this game would not have been as the success it is right now wow interesting that's that's actually really uh fascinating link i i did not um I didn't realize that. You know, to me, I mean, I, I'm someone that I don't really like being spoiled on main plot details, at least as best I can, especially if I know like for certain that it's a game I'm gonna play or a game that I'm already like relatively invested in. I don't know, there's always, there always tends to be a point, right? Like, 
where I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to stop looking at trailers and stop seeing shit about this because I want to be as blind as possible. Um, so, I, you know, I think for me personally, it would have like kind of bummed me out to, to see like, I don't know, to be spoiled of that time skip at some point. But I, I think it's cool. I think it's cool that uh, that was something that um, clearly was the right choice for the company to actually show off and talk about it if it ended up uh, helping revitalize people's uh, faith in the series, right? So clearly they knew their audience well enough to know that this was the right choice. So, uh, well, Link, Link, Kari, I thank you so much for sharing that. That's really uh, does give me a better perspective on the situation. As for that reason, you are comment of the day. I will say though, personally, I am just glad that I was not spoiled on that. I mean, I guess I was, but I did, like I said, I didn't retain any of it because I, I never really planned to play it. So the thing is, even before that point, I had never seen any of the other trailers for the game. So it was like even more out of context in that way. But it made for a nice little surprise for me, at least. Anyway, you guys have, have told me a uh, number of things. Uh, first off, apparently Gilbert, uh, our pal Gilbert, Gilbert here, his supports are actually blue li for blue lines only. So. Holy shit, in that case, we better get to work, man. We got quite a few with you. Yikes, yeah, quite a few that we're gonna need to uh, start working on then, including your your girl Annette here, who you've been training like shit for all these years. But yeah, I'll definitely do my best to try to see all the ones that are revealed only in this route, you know? And then, of course, any other ones that I have here as well. Oh, another thing you guys point out, and I, it didn't hit me, Marianne's eyes aren't dead anymore. She doesn't uh, have the bags under them, and she actually has that that uh, natural glisten that most other characters have. So, yay! That's good. Yay! She's starting to feel a little bit uh, a little bit better about herself. It seems like I actually almost gotten all of hers too. That's good. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I was like, I was like, wait, is this all the ones she? Oh no, it didn't even hit me. It's all the ones that I I missed out on. Right, I didn't get their C rank, so they're they're just gone now. They don't even show up in the list. But that's fine. This is like I've gotten the, the setup that I wanted here. All right. Another thing you guys apparently mentioned was that uh, Dimitri's personal skill, like mine, has also updated. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Oh, Royal Lineage. Yeah, Royal Lineage Plus. Grants plus 20 avoidance while unit is at full HP. Ooh, nice. That's cool. So like mine, which also became Professor's Guidance Plus. Very cool. All right. That's a nice little bonus. Oh. Right. I also did want to mention this too. Just I feel that I feel like I have to. But um, in regards to the the Council of Voices uh, classroom events, which were a ton of fun, and I I did bring this up in my message last episode. Um, they were a lot of fun. But like I said, they were super time consuming. As as much fun as they were, they were they tend to put me behind. Honestly, like like I think some of you guys maybe even underestimate how long it took to make some of those. They were like an extra like two hours <laughs> after the, like the video is done. Like it's totally done. All I've got to do is the the intro part again and that that way it's it always kind of drove me a little crazy after a bit it was like god damn and the more of them i made the harder it started to become to think up ideas and try to keep it original and fun and not do the same dumb joke twice and at least as best as i could so i feel like for this period i'm gonna just take it make it a little simpler and uh well still maybe trying to do i when you guys brought up a really cool idea which i'm, I'm gonna probably try for this one but but it's something definitely a bit simpler because as much fun as they were they were definitely uh, a lot of work but definitely i think one of my more uh, original uh intros that i did still have a lot of fun with and i'm glad that i did oh right An something else you guys told me about it um you you recommended that i should go back and listen to the support with uh lady Rhea, the very first one i had with her uh so i actually went back and i did that off screen and she brought up how there was a moment when uh, Gerald was still uh, like a young squire, where he leaped in front of attack and took uh, basically a deadly wound uh, for Rhea. And she had to work to uh, help heal him from that deadly wound. Oh, and sa saved him from the brink of death. Mm, and we just learned that Gerald seems to have basically increased his lifespan by being infused with some kind of crest wielding blood, right? And then another thing you guys point out to me if I if I had actually looked at this and I, I didn't really it didn't really occur to me at the time, but uh, Gerald actually does have a crest. And if you look at it, it is a major crest of Saros, which is the exact same crest that Rhea has. Oh, OK. Oh, well, there you go. There's the answer. So Rhea, in an attempt to save Gerald, infused him with her clearly some kind of godly blood right this this there's something this this crest of saros right is is different from the others this has got some godly dank shit in there and it heals him um and also increases lifespan now he just doesn't seem to age anymore 
which is probably the same with Rhea naturally, right? I bet she doesn't, she's probably looked that way for ages as well. I mean, is it, I feel like there's a possibility that Rhea is literally just Saros, you know, like maybe she changed her name, but she's not actually like some descendants or anything. She's just Saros. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even be surprised. I wouldn't even be surprised by this point. Like she's immortal or, or has eternal youth or something. I see. Okay. I actually wonder if that's ever going to be explicitly said or if that's just something you have to piece together yourself. Either way, though, it's it's pretty cool. I do really like that they just give you the pieces from all these different supports and you just got to put it together yourself. But that does explain that, at least. Hmm. Now the question is, how does Edelgard have a minor crest of Saros? Did she also get a... A little taste of that gray of blood or something or is perhaps some other reason she's some long lost relative of sarah's possibly i don't know <laughs> how do this shit fucking even works anymore we just keep adding new new rules to this crap oh yeah you guys also told me apparently a little minor thing but uh if you didn't recruit bernie she actually would have locked the door to her room before she left <laughs> oh my god really that's such a tiny little detail but i love it but, all right so we've uh we've seen a good chunk of the supports by now but we still have a few left that uh we still need to see. I think they're all with me, too. So, um, all right. I guess we'll just go in order here. So, uh, Mercedes. Do you have a moment, Professor? I need to speak with you. So, you know, I'll have this, this same theme, though, for, like, the final one. It's, like, slightly inspirational, slower theme. <laughs> okay. So is it about your weird haircut? This is what I wanted to address. Yes, I know. My hair looks weird, Professor. I know. You can stop talking about it. But I, I, I can't. You, no, you don't understand. I, I can't stop talking about it. What if I give you what was left of my old hair? Here, take it. Okay, I shall cherish this. I shall make a new Mercedes with this hair. <laughs> this letter from my adoptive father just arrived. Adoptive father? Ah? Uh? Oh, have I not mentioned him? He's the reason I first came to the Officer's Academy. He's also the one who dragged me from the church where I was living, just so he could use my crest. Ooh. I don't understand. My crest does not yet belong to a house, so he plans to use it as leverage to marry into the nobility. Did she not mention this before? I don't think... No, she didn't. She didn't really, did she? I don't think she went for too, too much into detail about what happened. He's a very greedy man who was a roving merchant before adopting me, but now he's in the capital. And I plan to kill him with your help, Professor. All right, let's do it. This letter says that he's finally arranged to marry me off to a wealthy noble. <sighs> I know he's just thinking of himself, but can't he see that this isn't a priority when we're at war? My thoughts exactly. Maybe the war has pushed him to this. My thoughts exactly. <sighs> I don't know what to do about this proposal. If only I could find a big, hunking, minty hair green man to be my one true husband now. Will you accept? I can't see any way around it, so I fear that I must. Sorry, Mercedes, but uh, I like Annette Flayne a little bit better than you. I just don't want to let go of the life that I've made for myself. I know it's not what my heart wants, but I don't have the strength to say no. What does your heart want? I believe I've mentioned this before, but I want to yeah. work in service of the church. Well, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be the church, but I want to help those in need. If I were to marry a noble, I think it would be difficult to realize that dream. I mean, right now, your profession is actually as a merchant, right? Why can't you decline? Tell the fuck just, off. I've always allowed myself to follow the whims of those above me. I convinced myself that everything in life was at the will of the goddess. I was blind to reality. I believed it was her will to both pull me from the church and guide me to the officer's academy. The decision to enter this war was the first time I acted of my own free will. My adopted father opposed this decision, but I somehow managed to convince him. Still, I couldn't free myself of him completely. This letter is proof of that. It's not that I'm scared of him, but there is something that worries me. Severing your ties. Ah, I knew you'd understand, Professor. I've sat down to write a reply several times, 
but I can't muster up the courage or the words. I was hoping you could provide me with the encouragement I need. Tell him to fuck off and eat a dick. Why reply at all? You can't just give up on your dreams. That's a very good point. We're only given one life, so we must do all we can to pursue our happiness. Okay. I think that may have been just the push I was looking for. I'll tell him the truth. That I found a life worth pursuing, and I must decline the proposal. Maybe I should tell him I've fallen for someone else. <laughs> <laughs> fallen for someone else? Who might that be, hmm? Why, it's you, Professor. Isn't that obvious? Oh, wow, she just straight up says it. <laughs> well, goodness, Mercedes, you're making me blush. <laughs> Excuse me? I wouldn't say obvious. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Or am I? Now I'm off to write this letter and stand my ground. Thank you for your encouragement. Hmm. Mercedes is nice. I'll actually really be curious to see her um concluding support with Annette here. Because after that weird one, like that did kind of damage Mer Mercedes a little bit to me. I don't know. Like I actually really liked her for a bit, but that one with Annette really kind of made me go, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, what the fuck was that shit? And I'm hoping we get uh, maybe a better explanation about it. Because I feel like there probably was a reason behind it. And I'm hoping at least. Um, all right, Annette. Annette. Let's see it, girl. Oh, hi, Professor. Hey, buddy. You look down. Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? That was five years ago, and I can't be expected to actually... It felt like yesterday to me, so yeah, I remember. Well, I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just... Now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really do like Annette's new design here. She looks super cute. Please, you have to help me. Should I do? We can watch TV. Nothing. <laughs> Have a nap. <laughs> I tried that. I couldn't calm down enough to fall asleep. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I actually think this is my little emote there. Like, <laughs> do what I do. It's like for five years. <laughs> no, don't do it again, Miss Lane. This war. Ah, oh, fine. Sorry, a little bit of fuck on my head. Well, let me do it. I'm sorry. But I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh, you're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? Yes, breathing techniques. And also lots of more. If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. First thing start off, I gotta throw, start throwing some furniture. I'm at my wit's end. You gotta make out with your professor. Wait, no. no uh, <laughs> have a cup of tea. Have some sweets. Have a cup of tea. Got it. I'll try that right now. <laughs> Give me some goddamn tea. <laughs> Holy shit, calm down, Ned. Mm, this candy is so sweet and delicious, and it goes so well with piping hot tea. <laughs> okay, calm down. Ooh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. Well, I had to do something in these last five years, so I dreamt that I was an amazing barista, and it, and it turns out I actually was. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Don't know how that works, but you know. Dream shit. Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? Okay. I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. It will not be easy. First, you gotta take the, the tea leaves, put in the little thing in, ding, turn the machine on, and then you're done. Is this doing your best? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, why is it so difficult to not do my best? I try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. Just be yourself. Professor, you're right. Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. That's a spirit, girl. Okay. Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please. Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Oh. 
Honestly, I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. Well, good news. I got a big ass vat of it over there, so we could drink forever. But we're gonna need to go tinky pretty soon. Ah, uh, I do like Annette a lot. Absolutely. She's definitely up there. Oh, wait. I actually do have, uh, oh, one with uh, Mercedes and Ingrid. Apologies for my late arrival, Mercedes. My duties ran long, as per usual. I'm not sure if this is one that requires a, a time skip or not. There's no need to apologize at all. Please, have a seat. Papa Squawk, old friend! for tea so many times, but you never seem to get used to it, do you, Ingrid? Not entirely, no. I'm not accustomed to being treated so... delicately. Anyway, what will we talk about today? I actually wanted to gripe about something that's been bothering me. You? Gripe? Now that's unusual. I'm happy to listen, of course. It's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me. It's you, Ingrid! What? You! I'm griping about you! Go! Enjoy my tea! You say nothing about my crumpets! You're a bitch! Fuck you! Ah! Thank you. The one thing I really wanted to talk about is marriage. Oh? Yes. Oh. I received a letter no, from this... an adoptive father about marriage discussions with a noble family. No, this is totally a this got totally a uh, post time skip one. And will you accept? That's the problem. No matter what I decide, I'll probably be married off anyway. Thanks, Mercedes. Glad to see you. Incredible conversation has such a deep impact on your decision. She's like, I know exactly what to do. And she goes to Ingrid. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what I really want to do is help those in need. But I think it would be more difficult to do so if I married a nobleman. Understandably so. Sounds to me like you need a strategy to silence your father. Gotta kill him. Sorry? To silence him? Don't you agree? It seems the best course of action would be to consider severing all ties with the family and running away. <laughs> we don't need to go that far. I'm sorry. I really just needed to let that out. I don't need you to worry about solving my problems. Oh, okay. It's just a bit personal for me. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Of course. Of course. This would be, this would hit home for her as well. With her own being wedded off to Glenn initially, but she's now that he's dead, she's gonna have to be married off to somebody else. My own father has brought countless marriage proposals to my attention. He always was obsessed with me carrying on the family bloodline. At a very young age, my hand had already been promised to someone in marriage. But Glenn died young. It seems like she actually did love Glenn though. Like that was actually one that she was happy about. That must have been difficult for you. Would you have married him if he had survived? Hmm. That's a good question. It's hard to imagine now. Hmm. Although I did admire him quite a lot. He held true to the ideals of knighthood, proudly serving the king. Even after all these years, I aspire to be the type of knight that he embodied. But that's just it. I'm not a tool for furthering my family's fortunes. I'm a knight at heart. Mm, yeah. Regardless of what my father desires. I see. A very noble cause indeed. <laughs> How strange that we should be worrying about the same thing. Even though we are such different people. It's true. Enjoying a nice chat over tea with you like this makes me realize. God, we need to drink nothing but tea in this fucking academy. God, can we get some, like, fucking coffee in here, please? Give me some crack coffee. Maybe the paths we walk aren't so different after all. Don't you think? You know what? Maybe we should make out instead. You're right. Let's do it. Ah! You know what? I, your Fessa is totally okay with this. I do. These tea parties of ours, they really are something special. That they are. Ingrid, I would love to get to know you better, if that's okay. I want to know about your childhood, your favorite books, the sweets you like, anything at all. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to speak with you anytime. And I want... Oh, shit. Sorry. Wait, wait. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm happy to speak with you anytime. And I want to know you better, too, Mercedes. You know, I will say, that was a... Uh... Hmm. I'm kind of surprised they, there's ended at a B rank. It almost seemed like they could have gone further than that. Possibly had a potential, potentially romantic relationship. But I guess not. It's just friendly between them. 
All right, Ingrid. Now for you and me. Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. <laughs> if you must. Happy to listen. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. <laughs> Let's hear it anyway. <laughs> be an asshole, be a nice guy. I don't, I don't think it's petty. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while a war rages on and others are fighting with all they have. Well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight, like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry for the benefit of the Galatea family. You don't have to do what you don't want to. Defying my father feels wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He, he never once complained, even though he must have been starving. Aww. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Now that this war has begun, my father has allowed me to fight for my homeland. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry, that I have shunned my duty as a noble. So kind of like unlike Mercedes adoptive father, right? Who's kind of a fucking dickhead. Her father isn't, you know, isn't actually treating her badly. He does seem to care about her clearly. Which, is, which makes her feel guilty about not necessarily wanting to go through with this. Uh, so that's just no avoidance, there's complications. Could you not find a way to do both? To follow both my dream and my duty? I... I had never considered that as an option. Perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, you're still a professor through and through. Always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, Professor. I hope you'll always be here as a guide to everyone. I know I myself would appreciate that deeply. Aw, oh, that was nice. Oh, this character is so fucking sweet. Also damn cute. Uh, oh, we got one for Marianne there, Manuela, and Catherine. All right. Marianne, let's see how you... Dear Goddess. I ask for guidance. Oh my god, her eyes look so much better now. I, I don't know why it didn't immediately hit me when I saw her. Professor, you're always watching over me, aren't you? Of course. I've spent my entire life avoiding people. Speaking to others was so difficult for me. So I made a point to always be alone. Animals and the goddess were the only ones I could really open up to. Do you remember the time you asked what it was I prayed for? Thanks and protection. Yes, but that wasn't the case. Back then, I felt that my life served no purpose and that I was nothing more than a burden. In truth, I was begging the goddess to take me to her. That was my daily prayer. But now I fear the idea of dying and being left alone. I have friends who accept me for who I am now, in spite of my crest. And I have you watching over me. I still don't know who that cre what that crest is yet, either. I finally learned to accept the kindness and warmth of others. I feel like if one of these supports is going to, like, tell us, you know? That or, like, a paralogue. It's actually going to tell us specifically what that crest is. And why she hates it so much. It's because of you, Professor. Because of you, I've decided to live. Aw. Although maybe I won't see it on this route. There's always a possibility I didn't, you know, I don't have one of the supports from her original house that she needs to see it. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I'm all right now. Even if I'm separated from you or any of my friends, the memories I've made here will give me the strength to continue on. 
She looked to the future instead of the past. Um. From now on, we look to the future together. Oh, I'm sure I'll have the strength to move forward if we're together. Holy shit. Damn, Mary, you got a lot stronger. And holy shit. I made you a lot cuter, too. <laughs> now I feel less worried about breaking you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is Marianne suddenly becoming a dark horse in this race to be Mr. Lee's ultimate wafu? Hmm, I don't know now. I'm slightly more conflicted than I was before. <laughs> oh, man. That was nice. That was nice to see that, that growth in her, though. Uh, Manuela, oh, God. I'm scared. What's an A-ring with her going to be? So I said... Two can play at that game. So then I whip my titties out like this. Ah! And then I grabbed his head like this and I put him in there. Ah! <laughs> you do this with everybody. <laughs> nope, only with you, Professor. Now get in there deep. I told him a small time little weasel like you ought to be begging me for attention. Curb stomped his ass with a high heel. Oh, it gets me so mad, so worked up. Why aren't there any men around here who understand what a catch I am? Come to think of it. You've always been nice to me. Ah. Uh -uh. I mean, you listen to all my problems. No, Manuela. I just simply stand here while you talk. It's a big difference. I feel like I can really trust you. I don't have that kind of thing with a lot of people. You're a close friend. I'm sorry I can't help. Just let's stop there, okay? You don't need to say anything else. I'd like to maybe talk about this once the war is over. Once we're all safe. All right, enough of this moping around. What we need is a change of mood. We've still got a lot to do together. When I think about that, what are one or two men? <laughs> What's wrong? Calm down. I can't stay calm when I'm like this. What's wrong is... It's not just one or two men. It's more like 100 men, maybe even 200 more. A day, literally. I'm, ah. I'm completely. Oh, I can't get out of this mood. Actually, I've got an idea. Exercise will help. I gotta find a motherfucker and kill his ass. I'm going to the training ground. Come on and give me a hand gonna work my anger out on 100 training dummies maybe 200 if we've got them huh it's an interesting one i was sort of hmm <laughs> it was interesting for her final one i gotta say for manuela i mean i can't have an ending with her so i mean it's it's clear we are i mean we knew this the moment we met her right it's not like manuela has changed really I feel like a whole lot throughout her her supports or her her the story here. I think basically kind of stayed the same in that it's very clear that she is a woman that is lonely, incredibly lonely, and but seeks so hard to find a guy that she wants to be with that it inevitably just ends up finding her bad guys, right? Guys that aren't right for her, but she's so like desperate for any attention that she'll take anything, even if it means getting hurt. Um all right. Uh now with Catherine here. Do, 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 do. I'm just, I'm just like standing there, like not, I'm like reading a book while blocking all our sword attacks. Ah la 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 la. <laughs> I will not yield. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, Catherine. You got it. You almost got a girl. Oh no way. So that's how you spell orthopedic. It's been a while since I had such a close call. If not for you, Professor, I wouldn't have made it. Oh, okay. I, th I, I thought we were training. I didn't expect to be ambushed on a simple scouting mission. Are you hurt? Did you complete the mission? Are you hurt? <laughs> you should be asking about the mission, not about me. I have to ask, Professor. What brought you here? Had a premonition. I was worried about you. Hmm. So you came to protect me. I'm beginning to understand why your allies love you. These are selfish times. One doesn't expect to encounter selflessness. You're kind. In that respect, I'd say you're much like Lady Rhea. All for Lady Rhea! I think Bra Lady Rhea is kind. Of course. It's thanks to her kindness that I'm here today. I was an outlaw in Fargus. She took me in and let me live here. You an outlaw? Didn't I tell you? I was born into House Karen in Fargus. 
They used to call me Thunderstrike Cassandra. Ah, yeah, here we go. I was implicated in a plot to kill the king. It was a totally false accusation, of course. I had to flee the kingdom, and the archbishop took me in. Why'd you come to the monastery? I used to be a student at the academy, so I knew I'd be safe here. Lady Rhea saved me once when I was a student, you know. I don't really remember what happened. I was badly injured and near death. Lady Rhea took care of me. She didn't mind getting dirty. She took my muddied, bloodied body into her arms. Since then, Lady Rhea has been my inspiration. I will always serve her, protect her, love her. For some reason, when I think about Lady Rhea, your face comes to mind. You've become an important presence in my life. Glad. I'm on it. I wasn't expecting you to have a positive response. I'm not thrilled about it personally. I am still going to keep my eye on you. Not so I can report to Lady Rhea, though. Just because I want to. Aw. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that she has the hots for fucking Lady Rhea here. I mean, she's like, she's like, I mean, your, your face comes to mind when I, when I think of Lady Rhea. Sometimes I think of your face, but I really just want to see Lady Rhea's face. Okay, there we go. We're all caught up now. Holy crap, that took a while. But actually, yeah, so that is, well, that's a good chunk of the supports that I have. So I still got Casper, Raphael, Sedith, Hanuman. I can't get an S rank with Gilbert. That's interesting. As well as Aloise. Um, Shamir. And that's it. But all the ones from my main class are done. So, which isn't too surprising. I re really do build up uh, support with your own students super easily. Because, like, you, you get it from teaching them. You get it every time you you uh, you eat together. As well as the people, you're, the other person they're eating with. It's like, it really is pretty easy for you. It's really the ones with each other that become a little little harder, right? That you got to think a bit more about. All oh, right, you guys also clarify. So apparently, um, I can only learn from my students when they have a stat that is higher than my own. That's the only way I can actually like learn about something. So I see. Okay. Hence the reason why Marianne can only teach me in faith, because that's the only thing that uh, she was higher than me. Well, I think I'm. Yeah, she's got. A, I think an A rank in sword, doesn't she? But so do I. Oh wait, no, she's she got a B B plus. I don't know if it just has to be like the same. Like if they have an A rank and I have an A rank, that works. Or if it actually has to be one above it, but probably one above it. All right, you guys also told me apparently there's like really no reason to ever change uh, Demetrius' class out of the one he's got because apparently the one he's got already is really quite good. So, uh, all right, sounds good. I wonder if maybe when Demetrius gets better, his his eyes will look less dead too. Hopefully, he'll get that dead lifeless look out of his eyes. All right, let's go uh, hang out in the sauna. What if I could do this with Dimitri? I guess still technically bonding, but I. I don't know, probably not. Nope. I don't want to hang out in the sauna with you, Professor. Aw, oh, but come on, Dimitri. Give your Professor a present after five years of sleeping his ass off. I think I'm going to do with Bernie because she's actually not at A rank with anything yet. Also, just get her up, get her closer to being able to become a, uh, a bow knight, which is definitely her destiny here. Yeah? All right, Bernie, let's do this. Let's do this and try not to cook you. <laughs> it's funny. I actually, I like how her pose is actually a little different from, I think, uh, like the other girls. I think. Like, I'm looking at her pose and the pose above. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my imagination. It seemed like she was more like, like, yee! <laughs> the guys definitely do a little bit more man spreading here, but, um, all right. Increase the steam. I don't know. Maybe it's not different. Ta-da! All right. We feel great. Woo! Actually, I gotta say, now that now I can actually learn from my students too, I feel like there's actually really very little reason to do seminars. Because, like, I mean, I guess you could get extra bonus points for other students that way, but, I mean, they get plenty as it is, right? With your fucking classes. It's really more about you, I think, that uh, benefit most from the seminars. But even now, it's like, now that I can get, like, a seemingly unlimited number of, uh, of classroom events as long as someone's higher than me, right? Uh, by just talking with my students, that really does kind of eliminate any need to, to do a seminar. At least that's kind of what I think. So morale meals. A gathering in the dining hall will strengthen battle bonds. Effects are enhanced when dining with an ally. Is it just, does work just work with everybody? Uh, oh yeah. This is a mega bonding time. Literally everybody. So yeah, this is definitely a, uh, the time to be doing this shit. So if there's anyone with fucking pluses on here, do it. 
do it. Do it. Okay, well, this is definitely gonna be a good time for them to get, get start on Gilbert's stuff because he's got quite a few that he's yet to start. Oh, hey, uh, Mercedes and Annette are at B plus, so they could probably rank up. Let's give it one with those two together. Good. I want to see what, how you two resolve your. Uh, it's uh, really tasty. Yeah. Please help yourself. <gasps> oh, intro. Oh my God. <gasps> I don't think I'd ever seen this. I don't think, unless I forgot. I don't think I actually saw they. Um, they actually act weird around each other too. After after that, <laughs> even though it was five years ago, <laughs> they actually weird act weirder around each other after that uh, last support of theirs. Man, the level of detail in this game is fucking absurd, and I love the shit out of it. There's so much care was put into this. Okay, but fortunately, hopefully we get some good resolution here. All right, let's see. when we were shopping if so it's fine don't worry about it not so fast i haven't properly apologized yet so i'm sorry i just i got scared imagine if something bad happened to you because of me mercy you would have just run away if you were on your own wouldn't you instead you acted defensively because i was there i dragged you down Mercy, you're upsetting me. How dare you say that you drag me down. Bitch! Bah! You know why I was acting so recklessly? Because I wanted to protect my best friend in the whole world. Annie, do you remember when we first enrolled at the Academy? It seemed like everyone was leagues ahead of us and so far out of reach. I felt completely hopeless. But because you were there, I didn't lose hope. So... Don't say stupid things about how you drag me down or how you don't deserve things. Thank you for saying that. And again, I'm sorry. You're just so important to me. I know I could never find another friend like you. You stayed by my side through thick and thin. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. Mercy, can we be friends again? Of course, Annie. Friends forever. <laughs> Good. I don't know what I would have done if we hadn't found a way to make up. I'm sorry. I should have said something sooner. No, waited five fucking years! No, I'm the one who should have stopped being so stubborn and said something. <laughs> you know, now that everything's as it should be, I'm suddenly starving. <laughs> That's just like you. Come, let's go for tea. Oh, let's! <laughs> And we should have some mercy baked sweets on the side. I think I love you more than just about anything in the world. You do? Oh, Annie, you're too sweet. Not as sweet as your baking. I love your baking more than anything in the world, too. Other than you. <laughs> well, I'm always happy to bake for you, Annie. Oh, I'm so happy to have you bake uh, back. <laughs> Oh, that was so fucking cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you just like get it. You just do all the heartfelt shit that needed. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that was cute. That's good. I'm glad uh, Mercedes apologized because I really think she was the one who was acting fucking crazy in that situation. But I see. She just felt like, I guess she felt like she was being a burden and then she started being hard on herself. So she'd lash at Annie or something. But that was cute. I, I'm glad. I'm glad they made up. I am. I will say I am actually incredibly shocked. You guys did tell me they don't have a romantic ending. It's, it's pretty platonic between those two. Holy shit. Even though apparently Mercedes is one of the ones that you can't have a gay relationship with if you were, if you pick the female uh, avatar. So it's like, I, I'm really shocked because it seems like those two, like, I mean, it seems like that go easily from being best friends to being more than that, you know? But I guess sometimes it's just, sometimes people are just, just good friends, but nothing and never really intend to be anything more, you know? And that's just fine. All right, let's do Gilbert with Alois here. I think Alois has a lot of extra lore bits, you know? With characters. Yes, good. Well, this Gilbert wasn't locked out of these. Aha, finally! Nothing. I could have sworn I felt a bite. Regardless, I shall persist. Alois, just give it up, all right? Leave the fish alone. You're just trying to piss everybody off now. Alois, you shouted. Is all well? Fuck these fish! Why, if it isn't Gilbert. Everything's splendid. I am fishing, as you can see. 
Yet you were also raising your voice, which is not conducive to fishing. <laughs> That's right, we did get a, a hint there that Gilbert was rather avid fisher. Well, a fish escaped, so I started shouting. See, they're biting all right. I think I'm reeling them in too slowly. Dude, if this was voiced by da if, if Gilbert was voiced by Dad in here, this would be perfect. <laughs> Shh, you're scaring the fish! Ho oh, ho! Another! Uh, nothing again? Why do these darn things elude me? I've been at it since yesterday. Every time I feel a pull on my line, the fish escapes. If I may, Alois, a bit of advice. You lifted the rod as soon as the fish bit. Hmm? Well, yes, of course I did. That way the fish has less time to escape. No, it is the very reason the fish escapes. The fish in this moat know to nipple the bait first. They check if it is safe before biting in earnest. Allow the first pull of the line. Then, when the second pull comes, reel in your prey. Hmm. I've been reeling too quickly. Maybe that's why the little flipper flappers have been getting away. You seem to know your stuff, Gilbert. Do you fancy yourself an angler? In fairness, I am more a theorist than fisherman. I just happen to know some things about this location. Ah, is that so? Well, I'm glad to have met a fellow enthusiast. I fish quite often, although I catch fish quite rarely. Regardless, color me impressed. A master of arms, but also a master of the fishing rod. I am honored by your compliments. And I believe you could achieve mastery if you attend to the basics. Just stop yelling all the time! With your permission, I might accompany you on a fishing expedition. Perhaps offer more pointers, if I may. Oh, ho, splendid! You shall be my second fishing mentor. Oh, God. My rise in skill will be astronomical. Gerald failed me, but I'm sure you won't. I was like, oh, oh, dear. <laughs> What have I done? All right, some good fishing lore. <laughs> Nothing terribly deep, but still nice. All right, Sylvain and Marianne have a C plus one. So let's uh, see where this goes. Okay, we say it. Yeah, you just. Yeah. <laughs> just get ready. I know they to do this. Even all these years later. Thank God, Sylvain. I was so scared. Was you would say something different. Yes, you just like understand, Professor. You understand things that I do like to eat when I eat the things that I like to eat. Oh, no, Sylvain, you got all too dapper and shit. No, be still my dude, bro, every time we eat together. You like it, baby. Ah, sorry. It's just tickles me to no end. All right. It's actually their last one together, so. Hello, Marianne. What? Won't you at least tell me why you're avoiding me? It hurts. It really does. I actually wonder, could they? Could this have been done pre-time skip? Might have been. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just not very good at talking to people in general. I seem like a lot of his B-rank ones, honestly, could have been done early. I told you I'm on your side, and I meant it. I'm guessing you don't much like talking about crests. Call it a hunch. Well, um... I'm the same way, you know. The value of my life has always been dictated by the damn thing. It's not fair to have your worth determined by something you can't control. Growing up in House Gautier taught me that the hard way. What do you believe determines a person's value? I like to think it's a person's smile. Huh? Their smile? A smile. It tells you who someone is. Are they fake or sincere? It also makes you feel stronger when you smile. My smile helps me focus and set free all of that power I never asked for. Hmm. I wonder... Try it out, Marianne. Be strong-willed and put everything you've got into your smile. Smile. Be strong-willed. How's this? <laughs> Yeesh, that's a terrific first try. If a bit stiff, lift the corners of your lips just a bit. Oh, I know. Try saying cheese. Cheese! Cheese? <laughs> oh my god. That's cute. Hey, that was good. It might feel a bit unnatural, but you'll get used to it soon. <laughs> oh my god, Fairy Head's face right now. She looks high as fuck right now. She's like, dude, what was in that weird Sylvain? 
dude, I don't know, man. All I know is the professor fucking gets me, man. He knows exactly what kind of weed I like to smoke. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god, that face could be a fucking meme. Look at, look at that. Look at that gorgeous meme potential. Are you sure this will make me stronger? She's like, mm, yeah, that's a good shit right there, boy. Guaranteed. It's a great smile, you know? Let's go to town and show it off. If you lift your eyes from the ground, you'll see that the world has all sorts of amazing things to offer. The more you realize that, the more you'll smile. I'll think about it. Please, don't let me pressure you. If you don't want to go, I understand. It's not that I don't like going into town. I'm just eager to get back to my room. I want to go practice my smile. Aww. If I keep practicing, maybe someday I'll be ready to go into town with you. Oh yeah? That sounds great. I can't wait to see your best smile. Oh, that was a nice ending with them. That was a nice non-horny Sylvain ending. It seemed like the first one, he was just kind of like hitting on her. Like, he's just hitting up Marianne like he does with all the girls. But the, the second one was a lot more... That was a lot nicer. A lot, a lot more sincere and just seemed like he was really just kind of looking out for her. Trying to make her more confident in herself. Bernie's sleeping in her tuffet right here. It's really funny, lady. She always takes her little bone <laughs> with her. She'll bring it to bed with her. She'll put it on the corner of her bed and then she goes to sleep with the, with the bone just lying on the corner. That way it's there when I wake up, daddy. I know, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. Blaine and Raphael. Okay. Their, their last one was fucking adorable with the battle cries. I cannot wait to see where it goes from here. They actually get up to an A rank too. Hello, Raphael. Are you well? Any chance you might be training today? Oh, do I? I had one with uh, Flane as well, didn't I? Oh wait. Oh wait. No, no, no. That's the, that was the S rank with her. That's right. I've already gotten her A rank. Of course. My muscles are always ready to train. I imagine so. Mind if I tag along? I have been practicing my battle cries. <laughs> I believe you shall notice a marked improvement. She's so fucking cute. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that sounds much better than last time. But try doing it more like this. Oh, hearing it anew is positively invigorating. <laughs> I have much training ahead if I am to become as strong as you. This is something so insanely endearing about the way Flane talks about stuff. It's just like, like she is so fucking high on life. Like, goddamn, she loves this shit. But it's also just the way she says everything. So positively invigorating. <laughs> Try not to strain yourself. You've got smarts, so you shouldn't have to worry about your muscles. You got your pointy hair you can use to stab your enemies. I won't be satisfied until my body is as strong as my mind. As my body is so frail, my brother is endlessly worrying over me. I know what that's like. I have a little sister, too. I always worry about her, even when it's something small, like catching a cold. Then surely you understand. I want to give my brother peace of mind. If I don't get stronger, I won't be able to do all the things I wish to do. But I'm quite enjoying this. I have never shouted so loudly in all my life. Each time I allow myself to let go in such a way, I feel invigorated. Well, if you're having fun, I'm not going to stop you. Go on and shout as much as you want. Give it all you've got and make your brother proud. Just you wait. I've only just begun. All right. Gather up your energy deep in your gut and get ready to shout. <laughs> this is the best one. <laughs> that support between them is the best one, I feel like. Oh, I got one with Raphael. That, there it is. That's what it was. Okay, it should be the B rank, I think. Hey, Professor. I think you've been working too much lately. The battle is going to keep going with or without you, but you're the one doing the most out there. It's real impressive how you can focus on giving orders and fighting. I don't think I could do both in the same battle. I see you running all over the place, even after the battle's over. I just don't want you to wear yourself out. I'll be okay. Yeah, I am tired. You gotta take a break when you can. Even when you're feeling fine, it could suddenly hit you. No offense, Professor, but don't you think some folks might be taking advantage of you? Like when you gave that speech to the troops. That didn't seem like something you wanted to do. I know you gotta follow orders on the battlefield. But you shouldn't have to do things off the battlefield if you don't want to. You've done things you didn't want to do. What do you mean? 
Like studying? Sure, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but that was to keep my little sis fed. I had good reason for it. It's the same for me, man. The same, huh? I think I get what you mean. You do things you don't want to do for the sake of everyone else. That's real noble of you, Professor. I guess I can't get in your way if you're doing it for the right reasons. Okay, then. I'm gonna keep trying to do my best. But now, I'm gonna do it for you. My little sis is important to me. But you're real important, too. I always work hard for the people who matter to me. And having more of them in my life just means I gotta work even harder. What do you think? I think you're important to me, too, Raphael. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say that. Oh. You're gonna make me blush. We gotta keep working hard together, then. At least until this war's over. I'll work to make sure you don't collapse from exhaustion. Oh, this war's over. Oh, this must be, this must have been only post time skip one then. You got nothing to worry about, Professor. I've been training nonstop. I got your back, no matter what. Oh, that was really nice. I feel so fucking good, guy, man. Oh, oh, no, that was a rank. That was the a rank one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Hey, we actually didn't get the 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 usual music we get for the A ranks too. The Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. That, oh, that was that was nice. Raphael's a big gentle giant though. He's a big sweetheart. Why are all these characters so adorable? Stop it. Just stop it. Okay, Ash and Casper have one. Oh, there we go. I don't have the resources. What? Oh shit. How the fuck did I somehow run out of resources for things? Wait, how the fuck am I out of carrots? I'm all out of my fucking vegetables? God, I didn't think I was I could possibly run out of fucking food at this point. I I guess maybe I'm not mixing my vegetables up enough. It's the only way to, to get new vegetables, I think, is grow them, right? I can't just buy them at a shop. I don't think. Hey, we got silver shield now. Shield made of si shining silver. I didn't even see that. Limited to one as well. Oh, yeah. You guys also told me the uh, the Gloucester. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that cat doing? <laughs> like he was doing that little, like, running sideways thing on the ground. Like that Homer gif. Um, you told me that the, the Gloucester... Uh, uh, weapon is for Lorenz, so unfortunately not gonna be getting at this uh, this playthrough. Damn it! So I want to get Casper and uh, and Ash. Unfortunately, Casper does not like this food. I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll just try something they're neutral about. See if that helps. Because they're both at C plus. I don't know. Let's give it a try. Casper, your stomach will burst if you eat all of that. <laughs> don't worry about me. I've got a stomach of. That's right. They, they actually have a unique one. Uh, nope. Not good enough. Mm, I'm not gonna waste my time on it then, if that's the case. And uh, it's like, it seems like if you're at the plus, if you're at a C plus or a B plus or something, the only way to guarantee that the level up is that they, they have the orange arrow and the blue arrow. Oh, Hanuman and, and Manuela have a C plus. All right. So if we get those two to fucking like each other. My apologies in advance for our boisterous dining companion, Professor. Professor, <laughs> please allow me to apologize for the unprofessional behavior of my colleague. Oh man, I think there's actually changed too. I think they, I think, I don't think they said that before. I think they said something, I mean, it wasn't nice particularly either, but this is definitely more like, yeah, it's all right. Maybe they'll make up in this next one. They actually can get to an A rank too, interestingly enough. Um, oh, I've got another one with, uh, oh, Hanuman. Yes, the final one with him. Cool. Maybe I'll learn more about my dumb crest. First, Manuela. Manuela, I would like to apologize. The other day, I said some things to you that I am, well, not proud of in the least. Oh, no, Hanuman. It is I who should be apologizing. I behaved in just the most dreadful, dreadful manner. I was just lashing out at everything. You were right to call me out. Really, and I do very much mean this. I'm so sorry for my behavior. Holy shit, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> oh my god, is there a glitch in the matrix? What's, what's going on here? No, please, pay it no mind. Actually, I'm thankful for what you said during our conflict. Thankful? Yes, you made me realize that I have a somewhat meddlesome nature. Thanks to you, I believe I've found an area in which I can improve myself. I could say the same thing, you know. Your accusations, they really hit home. After I cooled down, I realized you were right. 
I really ought to try and keep my emotions a bit more under control. <laughs> At least you just start making out. Ever. <laughs> oh, hey, well, this took a weird turn. Well, that's good to hear. It seems this wasn't a fruitless clash for either of us. Oh, indeed. There's nothing more depressing than a pointless fight, is there? Don't you wonder, though, just how many times we've had this same argument? We do always seem to be at one another's throats before we even realize it. I don't know how we manage to keep it up. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh my god. Something the matter, Hanuman? Oh god! Stop! Stop it, you two! It's getting gross! Stop it! Well, it's just... You don't smile oh my god. like that very often. Oh my god. But when you do, it is quite charming. Oh, Hanuman. Mm -hmm. I must say, a mustache really does it for you. I would love it to feel against my mustache. You have a mustache? Yes, but it's not up here. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Perhaps your struggles in love are due to your reliance on false affection instead of your more natural charms. Well, thank uh -oh. you for the compliment. Even if you did have to spoil it with criticism. If you weren't so judgmental all the time, maybe you'd have had more luck in romance yourself. Oh god, here we go. What? I... Manuela. As your friend, I was only trying to give you a useful bit of advice. And that so-called advice is exactly why I call you meddlesome and overbearing. God, we two just fuck each other already? And there it is. Manuela begins to... Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! They can get to an A rank too. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm a scared. I'm a scared of what that A rank means. I'm a scared. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen at that A rank. My, we might see some things that we wish we didn't see. All right, Hanuman. Professor. Professor, I came to your room to to poke you while you slept, but unfortunately, you always seem to still be awake. Ah, fine. Let's just do this while I'm still awake. Which means that there are some elements of your power that cannot be explained by current theory. Although this may lead to a discovery that alters the very fabric of Crest research. <sighs> oh, pardon me, Professor. I became lost in thought, and I do tend to ramble. I want to go sleep for another five years. I suggest we call it a day. Do you concur? I find I keep talking. Getting tired. It seems that I have gotten carried away again. My apologies. I know you were quite busy. I become so energized around you. When we get deep into the research, why, I feel 20 years younger. That said, perhaps we should discuss things unrelated to crests from time to time. Do you like science? Uh, I guess. Do you like the science of crests? Oh, damn it, I did it again. Some sort of silly, light-hearted topic might be nice, eh? You have one in mind? I'm not especially skilled at small talk, alas. Let me see. Perhaps we should discuss... Hmm. I know. Food. Food. Not my strong suit, the culinary arts, but I do enjoy a good meal. Which kind of food do you prefer, Professor? Sweet? Or spicy. He's gonna find a way to connect this to my crest. I know he is. Uh, probably a little spicy. Spicy? Quite the opposite of me. Yet you're an exception in lots of ways. So it's not altogether surprising. An old colleague of mine theorized <laughs> that I knew those it. who bear crests favor sweet flavors over spicy. She suggested that the crest exert some manner of influence over. Oh. There I go again. How embarrassing. We were supposed to be avoiding talk of crests, weren't we? I just, I love crests. Crest, 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 crest. Terrible habit of mine. Finding a way to turn any conversation towards crests. I really should find a way to stop that. It's okay. We can talk more about crests. Come on. That is kind of you, Professor. But it's all right. If you were to lose your patience with me, it could have an incalculable impact on my research. That sort of thing has happened in the past, you know. Back when I was still in the Empire. At first, any lady I was spending time with would titter and say she didn't mind if I talked about crests. Oh. But 
at some point, she would always become fed up and stop listening to what I had to say. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm all say it's till the end of this game. I'm just like, the writing in this is so good. Do you see that beautiful transition we just did? Like that just wonderful transition we just went through? Like, God damn, man. It's so good. So we start off the conversation as a crest, right? And then I did, he even did the thing that I joked about where he like, we started to try something and then go back to crest. And we're like, oh, we just keep talking about crest. But now, now he is opening up. Now he's opening up about himself by talking about how he doesn't stop talking about crest with other people and how it's affected his, his life, right? I mentioned that he was in the empire. That now, oh, well, the other, I, I've had trouble with women because I can't stop talking about fucking crests and shit. It's like, now, inadvertently, in his way, he is actually opening up to me and talking about something else. It's just so fucking good. <laughs> I heard that and I went, oh, that beautiful fucking just effortless, realistic transition. In the end, invariably, while I was particularly focused on my research, she would write to say we were done. Ouch. You may be a man. But I still don't wish for you to grow tired of my company. That was actually his final one, too. Interesting. Wow. Man. Ah, oh, fuck this game and it's fucking amazing riding. Do we actually get a... Oh, no, we can't get a S rank. Okay. <laughs> yes, we have an S rank together. So you know what that means? We get to talk about Crush forever. No. Nah! <laughs> damn, damn, damn. All right, Seth and Catherine here have yet to start one. God, Seth gets a lot of, a lot of long ones. Not many, like, there's only Felix and Hanuman. The only ones that just go to B-Ray. Everybody else is just quite more, quite extensive. All right. Catherine and Seth here. How are you, Catherine? You look well enough. Hmm? Oh, yes, I'm fine. Never better. That is good. I cannot help but be concerned given your tendency toward incautious behavior. While boldness can be a virtue, I do hope you will bear in mind that recklessness is not. <laughs> you know, I've seen you guys point out, like, in a lot of ways, Seneth is like the therapist of, the, of this monster, and you're kind of right. It's like, it seems like he's he's perfect at doling out advice to everybody but himself, right? He's incapable, like, he's capable of seeing the faults of others but himself. And it's so, it's so hilariously ironic, and I love it. A moment's negligence can lead to a mortal wound for even the most skilled fighter. You worry too much. If they saw me in action, the wounds themselves would cower. That is precisely the attitude that worries me. Especially given your history. You have been gravely injured before, as you no doubt recall. Me? Gravely injured? When did that happen? You mean you have forgotten? It was during your days as a student at the Officer's Academy. There was an excursion, a monster hunt. You charged ahead and left your fellow students behind. You ended up alone and surrounded. You almost died. Do you truly not remember? Are you sure? All I remember is cutting down monsters left and right. I think this is what Catherine was just referring to. Was, uh, yeah, I think it's what she was just talking about, about with me earlier, right? And this is the one that Lady Rhea, like, nursed her back to health. She actually even brought up to me. She's like, I don't remember it very well. That is true enough, but you nearly bled to death in the aftermath. The Archbishop was so concerned for your life that she tended yep. your wounds personally. Hmm. Oh, that was when that happened. Finally, it all fits together. Wow, a perfect time to have this 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 uh support. Lady Rhea looking after me. Now that I remember clearly. That was the first time she ever spoke to me. I was lying on the ground, caked in mud, and she gently picked me up, even stroked my hair. The emotions were so overpowering that they must have just cleared away my memory of the whole incident. So it was during the monster hunt. Thanks, Sedith. That's been bothering me for ages. That is not quite why I brought it up. Come to think of it, Lady Rhea hasn't healed me since then. I wonder, did she do what she did with Gerald? I mean, she does have a crest, but it's not the crest of Saros that Catherine has. We've got to find Lady Rhea, and then maybe someday she'll honor me like that again. What? Oh. What? We gotta find Lady Rhea. Are you telling me they couldn't have started the sea support till now? Or was that just added in there? Wait. Wait. 
You know what? I, th I think there might be a way I can actually see this because now I am curious. So see, you can actually go in here and see all the supports in the game right here, which is freaking awesome. Catherine. No, look at that. It's part one white cloud. So what she said, she has to say something different there, right? Maybe if I get wounded. I know you have a fondness for the archbishop, but do try to control yourself. <gasps> oh, they didn't. They didn't do it that time. Oh my God, this game's so fucking amazing. <laughs> the f they went out of their way to do that shit. Like they could have just totally ignored that, but they didn't. I mean, it wasn't even that, like, I think they could have probably said that. I mean, I guess. I mean, it wouldn't have made as much sense, but they, they probably could have gotten away with saying it. I would I, I don't think I would have even noticed it, honestly, um, if they chose not to to change that for, for this one, you know? Because it wasn't like, oh, Lady Reyes right over there to do this thing that, that she can do now. But I mean, technically, yeah, I guess you wouldn't be able to do it now, but but they changed it if you do it after the after the time skip. Like, this game is just the best, all right? Like, I just can't get over that. Like, seriously, you have to imagine how much work must have gone into this to, like, look after every little detail and make sure that every, like, possible fucking precaution was taken for certain moments so it all made sense. That's just fucking awesome, man. I love it. Fucking love it. Sorry, I know you guys are probably really sick of me being like, oh, this gives me a Shut the fuck up, Nico. We get it, all right? You like it. God. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just constantly finding new things to be impressed by in this game i mean i think like this like i couldn't really include this game in my game of the decades right of the decade because i hadn't really played all of it you know i hadn't beaten it i haven't even beaten like a fourth of it you know based on just the number of roots and shit but but i think if it continued it the way it was i think it easily could have made that list just because it's just so good and the detail and everything is just amazing damn it uh, why is it it's the sweet bun, bun trio is the one that has all the ones i need with Casper and Ash, and then Ingrid and Bernie. But unfortunately, I have none of the ingredients I need for this. Fuck. Wish I could buy vegetables. Why do we sell meat, but not vegetables here? You motherfuckers. All right, they're not gonna level up, but at least get them ready, so. Felix and Bernie. <laughs> ah, I'm sitting next to him! Ah! <laughs> okay, and then, uh, Ingrid and Ash. I feel like best to make use of this now when every, like this a day where ever literally everyone can bomb with everybody is a this looks is an opportunity where I, I just can't miss that should bring everybody's uh yep everybody's feeling super motivated all right just just to get everybody else's up too i'm gonna go ahead and let's see get casper uh shamir and cyril some gifts some shit so they can yeah yeah shut up for me hey sir i got some more smoked meat this is for me thanks Oh, sweet. All right. He actually didn't like that. <laughs> it's funny. I said Cyril's name and, my, and Siri woke up when I did that. <laughs> was, no, not you. Not you, Siri. All right. That brings everybody's motivation to max so I can have full choice on who I want to teach. All right. I think we're totally good. Got in all the message boxes. Oh, there's the fucking choir. I kind of forgot about that, but that's nah, fine. Whatever. We'll do another time. Oh, that's right. There's still the fish I got to get. Do I have to? Does it matter what day I do this on? That's what I'm kind of unsure about. Just to be certain honestly because i really want to know this before i like go spending time to do this i'm just gonna look it up real quick and see if there's like a fishing the big one yeah it, it says you can do it anytime so that's actually interesting i'm looking through actually now apparently there's if you don't cultivate certain like seeds you actually are will get like something totally different that you wouldn't that you wouldn't get if you cultivate it so it's not like cultivating is always the right call it's not i always just kind of imagine it meant you could just get more stuff in addition to what you maybe usually get but it seems like it's totally different. Okay. Apparently, you're actually going to get a... Uh, to get this fish, you need to... It's going to be a purple one instead of the usual. All right. I'm about to need the big tapas bait for this shit. Oh, wow. That was easy. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, damn. I fucked up the first one, but I almost got it perfect. Fod Landy, challenging to snare. This ancient fish has swum in the waters of Fodland for countless generations. Wow, cool. <laughs> First shot. Great Boom, done, bitch. <laughs> I love that I, I just got it right off the bat. <laughs> the First one I do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, motherfucker. I was actually seeing the thing to mention to get how to get chickpeas is apparently you need to do use mixed seeds, but don't cultivate it. It's like, fuck me, really? Why is God going to be so damn complicated? All right, now I think I, now I think I am done. Let's get the shit out of here. 
I'm hitting the button to skip. Why, why am I not getting out of here? Oh. Wow, that took a while to... I'm, like, mashing the, the button to... Took a second to pop up, though. <sighs> All right. Back to teaching. Or just being like, hey, guys, we got... Oh. Yeah, it is set up differently. That's cool, man. I like that. Well, I was like, I'm like, it wouldn't really make sense if it was actually like a classroom setting now. Cool. Uh, oh, wait, actually, do we have, so we, oh, we do have group tasks. Same shit. Okay, there are actually some people who are getting pretty close, right? So like, uh, Bernie and, who's at a B plus? Oh, it was Bernie and Felix. Yeah, I think. I think Casper and Ash were close. I it's I wish in this menu it actually showed you like C plus or, or whatever, but it doesn't for whatever reason. Annette is almost there with the the faith. I'm starting to get it. Nothing? Really? You didn't get a new skill? That's surprising. Well, uh let's keep going. Perfect. Good girl. All right, Bernie, you're getting some bonuses here because of the we took a sauna together. So let's get that A, baby. Yeah, I got it right. Learn combat art in closer. Ooh. I'd never have learned this back in my. Hey, I'm right, girl. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring. All right, let's keep going up with horsies. I did pretty. I got it. I got it. Damn right. Jeez. I love horses. All right, Felix, we need to keep going up with your axe skills so we can get you to war be good with the war master. This could be used. It was nothing. Of course. I there we go. This could be good. Similarly, Ash, you're going to get up your horse skills. <laughs> you're making me blush. Keep going. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Damn, everyone's doing fuck kicking ass today. All right, let's keep going with your fists here. Thanks for your Casper. That Warmaster is basically what you were made for. <laughs> great, 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 great. They're great. Okay, let's work on their reason. No need. Yes. All right, Hobbin. Let's keep going with that reason too. Just no matter how. Just oh my god, you're so close. Come on, give me a good give me a better one. No! Ah Okay. Alright. We are good. Let the council commence. God, I actually almost wonder if we had like if I had literally recruited like every other student in here, would we really be able to fit everybody in this room? <laughs> I don't know if there's enough seats in here. Um, alright. Let's go guys. I got a question. I don't think there's much difference between Elmira and Fodlin, but everyone else seems to think so. I think Elmira is completely different. Why is that? It's prejudice towards unknown places, nothing more. There's a long history of opposition between the two. I'm sure there are lots of differences. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's something. Long history of opposition between the two. I think I get it. Hey there, Professor. It was interesting how Shamir was standing next to him while that happened. Um, uh, Whatever, I sword and faith really go hand in hand. Physical defense, divine protection, booga booga booga. I don't care because I don't not gonna use you. Sorry, Anna. Without any damn supports, it makes it hard for me to consider using you in fights. Oh, is this main story shit or is this group task? All oh. right, Caspar, let's get That's a long load for the group task. We should do is divide up the work. <gasps> oh, hey, they're actually saying stuff to each other. Oh, come on, don't be like that. We gotta just jump in and figure it out as we go. That's not how things are done. Uh, hey, don't start yet. It's not funny that they have one like that. that. Pretty well. We managed to make it work. <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted though. Oh, perfect. There we go. Okay, B ranking horses. Uh, Haman went got his uh, A rank. I still have much. Ragnarok. Learn. Sweet. Saint to Sarah's Day, will it be a hymn in the recital? Yes. Bernie Felix. They won't notice if one person does <laughs> will they? <laughs> yes, this is actually the one I wanted, too. I think, I have a feeling it, it, the game might prioritize ones that are close to leveling up. Not sure I should sing with everyone. 
not dreaded harmonizing. I hate singing. Why did you bring me to this? Was it to humiliate me? You succeeded. <laughs> oh no, no, nobody leveled up. Got to be pretty close though. Uh, all right. So we've got uh, a few quests as well as a paralogue between Daddy and Gilbert and Annette. Get her freaking hero's relic. The little icon down here there actually has her with a hat on. <laughs> Even she doesn't have a hat on in, in her warlock class. Oh yeah, let's try with Gilbert again. See if we can get him to something else. Uh, okay, 42% chance of that, which does go to raise the stats quite a bit. All right, let's try this one again. Come on, Gilbert. Yeah, oh boy. Stat bonus. Oh, Success. yeah. That speed. Um, okay, before we switch to that, let me look at what the differences are. So Fortress, Fortress Knight, you do get plus three in Axe as well as this. Um, yes, his defense will come down, but his movement will go up, his luck goes up, his speed will go up, his strength will go up, lowers HP a little bit, his Axe crits. Yeah, you just, that's, this is just more useful, honestly. Perhaps I should. Have faith in myself. Yes, maybe you should. All right, what was Bernie's new ability? Um, Encloser. A bow attack that prevents the enemy from moving. Ooh, what? That sounds sick. So like a, a move that acts almost like a battalion? So shoot them from a distance and they won't be able to, to come after you. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, I think we're gonna be doing battle today. Let's do this paralogue. Annette and Gil Gilbert hope to acquire the hero's relic of House Dominic. Uh, from Annette's uncle, Baron Dominic. Let's do it. Weather veins of Fodland. You two need to fucking bond. Okay, I wonder if this will have a gimmick to it as well. Actually, they, they all do. So what, what, the question is, what gimmick will it be? Professor, do you have a moment? Of course. I would hear your opinion on our situation. Anything to make Annette more deep and powerful. Given our current fighting power, what sort of challenge do you expect we pose to the Empire? Do we have any hope of victory? Our preparations are lacking. The probability of victory is low. So we agree. However, in order to strengthen our forces, we... Ah! Uh, why would anyone put a barrel here? <laughs> oh, that really smarts. Oh, hello, father. <laughs> father? Why am I acting like I wasn't there for all these scenes? Actually, I guess technically I wasn't, but... Uh -huh. Another stupendous fall. As though you care about my well-being. Anyway, Professor, I'm heading out for a bit. Where are you going? I was thinking of going to visit my uncle. I actually wonder if this is also, like, something you have to do in order to actually see, like, the... All their supports together, right? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if their B or A rank is blocked off until you complete this paralogue or something. To see my brother? Why is that, Annette? I want to ask him to entrust me with the hero's relic of House Dominic. The fight from here on out is going to be tough. I need to do whatever I can to get stronger. The best thing we can do, as far as I can tell, is to have another hero's relic at our disposal. You are not wrong, yet it will not be easy. I do wonder if it'll be a, like a, a super one, or will it be like a, just like a, a silver one? Why's that? Under pressure from Cornelia. House Dominic is maintaining a pro-imperial stance. That makes us his enemy. Ah. Uh, or no, he will not hand over a hero's relic to us. Well, I want a dickhead. But he's not a bad person, and we'll never know unless we ask, right? And Mother might be there too. The Dominic region is, at present, enemy territory. There is no guarantee you can see them safely. Fine, be that way. It's not like I was planning to ask for your help anyway. Professor, don't worry about me. I'll be back soon, and with a relic, no less. Annette, no. You are not going all there by yourself. Annette, wait! She never listens. So frustrating. However, if she were able to retrieve the hero's relic, it would prove a great boon to our forces. Perhaps I should prepare myself for the worst. I shall travel with Annette to see my brother. Funny, I actually, did I even check? Do you have a crest, Professor, Gilbert? might I ask you to take on a task for me? It is entirely possible that we shall be captured in the Dominic region. In anticipation of that, 
I would ask that you wait outside of the region with an army at your command. Hmm. Of course. I shall be there. I cannot say with confidence that we will be able to bring back the hero's relic without issue. Well, seeing as this is a paralogue, I would think not. While it pains me to ask this favor of you, I must also thank you for accepting. Okay. Ooh, some different music. All right, well, we're out here. I imagine uh, things didn't go well. Uh, ooh, we're getting some guys with some high little shit now. We got the Ragnarok. Level 28. Oh, Baron Dominic, there he is. Look at this guy with his amazingly unique face portrait. Um, okay, our Gilbert and yep. You two are just hanging out over here. You're gonna bond <laughs> or die together, one or the other. I'm sorry, are they have they been captured? But they still let them keep their weapons. Initially enough, are not in aggro range. Can you guys only walk two spaces? Like what the fuck? Those are the ultimate of fatties. Alright, ooh, I can bring eleven people into this. Nice. Well, eight more people than the three that I have, have to bring in here. All right. Whew. <laughs> I took a while getting that set up. Optimizing the shit out of that. All right. Let's do it, guys. Don't let these people die. Uncle, I beg you. Please give me the hero's relic. Even in this land, the Empire's eye shines bright. To hand over such a weapon to you, our enemy, is unthinkable. We are well aware. Brother, I beg you, for the sake of the kingdom's revival. I can't hear you all the way over there! I cannot. If it becomes known that I gave you aid, my lands will be annexed in a bitter instant. Then we must relent. Annette, there is nothing for us here. We should go. Well, having our axe at the ready. No. Letting you simply leave will invite accusations of collusion. I must take you as my hostages. So... It has come to pass, after all. So it has come to this. Annette, live here with me. You needn't return to that helpless band of rebels without a glimmer of hope for victory. You're wrong. That will never happen, Uncle. Your mother is also here in this land. Do not dismiss my proposition so readily. Shut up, Uncle! We can't afford to stay here. Father, we have to run. Be calm, Annette. I assumed something like this would happen. If we do not come back, the professor will come to get us. We need but wait and keep faith. Or just kill these guys. Fight your way out. Slay them all! I'm your girl. Die! <laughs> it's, it's a shame that I can't, like, kill multiple people with, like, a, a single move like this. That's kind of one thing I, I wish they changed here. I mean, I guess it, it'd probably be too OP, I guess. I mean, I could probably do a fuck ton of damage to these guys with this. Which, this is our chance. Die! I missed! You know, assuming that hit. Oh, fuck. Here we go again. Damn it. Never mind. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> wow, these big chungawungas are pretty uh, fucking fast if they're able to just dodge that shit. Damn. Yeah, I can't really... Uh, can't manage to really kill these guys. Uh, oh, she can. I mean, she just kills one at a time. That should be fine, right? Maybe. Ah! Oh, what the fuck? What's next? Oh no! See, oh, then they start coming after you. No, that's okay. That increases. So once you've attacked them, then they'll uh. We'll come after you, I see. Otherwise, just just stay here. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely better for them to not attack at the moment. All right, in that case, give us the speed. Mercedes, oh my god, everybody's gonna get buffed. Guide me well. Go right in there and save them, Zenith. Oh! <laughs> Almost there. I do this for all of us. Oh, I do this for all of us. What I do, I do for all. Onward. Onward. Everyone's saying, oh, I'm so fucking ready. Everyone to ready to lay waste. Push the fuck out of that wizard. Oh! Slam dunk, Eloise. Come for me. Oh, something to believe in. Oh, my God. Front backflip. Sweet. Still, 
still room for improvement, but I'm feeling pretty good. Eat shit! Boom! Is that all? Repent from the grave. Repent! <laughs> Can't hold me back. That was fun to watch. That was fun to watch. That was that was hot. Oh, bitch. This is war! Oh my god! Where did it come down? Oh. Behold our strategy. Level up for Sith! Had I room to grow? Yes. I actually can sit in this little spot here. Although I can't attack anybody from here. Okay, now will we live. Ah! All is going to plan. All according to Nico busily planned. You missed. Missed again. Here is something to believe in. Believe in this, bitch. Another victory. Ah! Oh, just laying waste to everybody. Oh fuck! He's just killing us all. Motherfucker, you dare touch me? Yeah! Fighting yeah, right turn, yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, bitch, Marianne died. I have no regrets. I'll be with the goddess soon. Ah, fuck. No, you won't, Marianne. We'll come back. We're gonna try it again. Captain Level Up! I fight for one. All right, I'm doing good. Well, sorta. Actually, I got hit with a battalion, but it's all right. I'll be all right. I must pull through. Boom. Oh. Who's next? Get in line. This is our chance. Oh, for fuck's sake, really, dude? Come on. Don't hit me. God damn it! Thank you. And just for that, you are completely fucked. That's what I would say if I fucking kill you. Hey, dickhead, eat shit. You let I'm Tetsuwafu go and a dumb dad. It won't be in vain. Sneak out of there, Gilbert. <laughs> I thought like I could just leave and they're like, oh, okay, bye. Oh, interesting. These guys don't aggro until they, these, until they move or just do anything. Like, say, so look, they're, they're still just standing there like idiots. And I am fine with that. Child's play! I'll crush them all. Ha! Right to the last you hope to strike me down. In that case, I will also lay my cards on the table and commit all my resources to this fight. Fuck, what? What's happening? Reinforcements. That will make life more difficult. Shit. Were there? I didn't see any. Yeah. Missed it, kid! Alright, Catherine. Fucking wreck this piece of shit. Uh. Uh. Fighting is what I do. Nice. I'm stronger. The Black Pearl. Increased charm by two. Neat. Wreck and Bernie. Bernie's unstoppable. <laughs> Bernie's unstoppable. Hell yeah, girl. Maybe this will help me keep. Oh, what the fuck? They woke up! My orders. They were fine just a second ago. Oh dear. Yes! I put her. There's a fucking healing spot in I'm here. Sorry. Which also gives her dodge and shit. And higher armor, so I'm hoping that lets her live through this shit. Boom, boom. What's next? That's what I'm at. I keep it. No. Yes. Can't afford to lose. Fuck yeah, Net. So you get stupid enemy for leaving a armor healing tile in there for me. <laughs> Alois leveled up. Still room to improve. <laughs> you earn this. Oh my God! Big freaking spin. Step. What the, the wind up? One day the 
War will be over. Sweet. Oh my god, they are fucking coming in a massive drove. <laughs> Holy shit. Annette, you can kill them all, right? <laughs> Annette, go in the fuck it. Hit him with this shit. Now. You're going nowhere! Ah! Ah! I'm nobody's fool. <laughs> That's some epic shit. Yeah. Might still die, though. Oh, yes. Nice one, Bernie. A little scratch won't stop me. Yeah, I better not risk it. There's just no fucking way. She'll go in there and she's still gonna fucking die. If it is incredibly satisfying, mostly because this this person, I can't hit them. Actually, no, actually, if, if I do it from this angle, this will be better, because then... Can't afford to lose. They won't be able to reach her, except for uh, this one guy. But it's all right. He won't be able to kill her anyway. There we go. That's the, that's the smart Anyone shit to do. Ungrateful. Gotcha, girl. Level 30 for me, baby. Oh, give me that there shit. Still room. Oh, interesting. We got, we got affinity, even though I thought we were maxed out at this point. But yeah, we're, well, we're up to S rank, and I, I can already well. commit to it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it works anymore. Whatever. A tragic end. Level up for Mercedes. Nice. This is for <laughs> Boom! That's what it at. Ooh wee! Not doing much to that armor. Yeah. Oh no. Oh god! Don't worry, Captain. Ah, fuck. All for Fargus. Child's play. Boom. I Shit. Only just nice, Blaine. Oh, interesting. They're not attacking us. Why aren't they attacking us? They're only going after a net for some reason, but not, but not anybody else. Even though we're right here in attack range. Oh, that guy was going in, and now he's dead. Boom. This could turn the tides. Boom. I won't allow it. Good job, Zenith. Oh fuck yeah! I can see it. I can feel it in my bones. Fuck this guy up in that boom. What's next? All right, we actually managed to destroy those dudes. Good lord, there's so many of them too. Thanks. Thanks, honey. No problem, Daddy. Will you notice me now? <laughs> boom. I must keep going. That's what Marianne. Set him on fire, Mercedes. Hammer time! I must stay the course. Nice one, nice one, Alois. Grow it. I got it. You're not going anywhere, Mister. Oh. Ah. Onager can be used by mount or magic units. Uh oh. I didn't realize he was on a thing that could shoot people. Ow! Checked ah. a rocket flame. Ah, oh, okay. It hit. Just cast for a little bit. At least they can kill him though. Damn, he's in the bushes, too. Fuck that guy up, Catherine. Or miss. Boom! Level up for Gilbert. Nice. Maybe I'm not a Stop talking like that, Gilbert, you stupid asshole. I'm gonna level up. Good. I could go another few Yoink. Bernie's unstoppable. Bernie's unstoppable. Level up for Marianne. Nice. I'm really gaining. All right. All I got left is this dickhead and this dickhead. Yeah, this is a beefy ass dude right here. Just the power of my brave sword I missed. Ah, my dudes withdrew. Please hit them. Thank you. Lament your weakness. I went for it. 43% chance. I was like, fuck it. 
All right, good. Now just for it. And that's dear old uncle. Uncle Dickhead, they call him. I have my own reason for not giving up. The less I speak of it, the better. Bear say now, because you about to die. Oh, shit. Didn't see that was 20% chance of hitting him. Eat this, dickhead. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Finish this guy off, Casper. Boom. Big axe attack. So, this is it. I fought well in the end. I doubt Cornelia will think I cooperated with you. Well, yeah, I mean, you're dead, and so is your entire army, so yeah, probably not. Take the hero's relic and go. And in return, promise to restore the kingdom. Brother, I thank you. Now burn it now. And don't worry about your wife. Whatever happens, I swear I will protect her. When all of this is over, you had better return to her. Make sure victory is yours, Gustav. What are you gonna do? Protect her from beyond the grave? <laughs> okay, I'm guessing he's not dead. You have my word. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, cool. Whew, that was a tough fight, though. Hey, oh, I was the really I was the the MVP. Uh, so he's playing her battalion, school of sorcery soldiers. Probably meant for a net. Cool. All right, let's see this hero's relic, baby. I cannot tell you how grateful we are for your assistance. I don't know what would have happened if not for you. And thanks to you, I got this. Oh, the magic what the fuck? Crusher, the hero's relic of House Dominic. Oh my god. <laughs> Annette gets a big fat diesel hammer? Are you serious? Ah, oh, shit. Well, it's a magic hammer, so it'll do magic damage, but... I wonder if she'll even be able to use it, though, honestly. God, it's really funky looking. It looks like a little finger sticking out of it. Like a squid or something is attached to it. I mean, I, I wonder what the requirements to use it will be, because I have not, like, trained her much in the uh, uh, use of axes. My brother would not surrender such a relic without a fight. I hope you understand. I understand. House Dominic is one of the ten great bloodlines. Yet within the kingdom... We are mere feudal lords. With the Empire growing in strength, Dominic must kneel. To do otherwise would be suicide. I'm gonna guess then that this is probably a, a big hero's relic, right? A golden one that gives her like an extra ability too. The Western lords and other rulers are in the same situation. They all comply, albeit reluctantly. If we defeat the Empire, I hope the kingdom will rise once more under the banner of a legitimate king. I hope so too. That's why we can't give up. To that end, Professor, we will require your help. I hope we can continue depending on you. Do what I can. You count on me. Don't worry. We won't make you do all of the hard work by yourself. I'll give it my all too. Speaking of, I'm gonna get straight to training. You can run to a barrel, right? I knew it. Why would someone put a dumb wooden box here? And please, Saw that coming. Look after my daughter as well. I'll try, man. I'm not romance with her later. What? Anyway, see ya. Crusher. Oh my god. Annette gets this beastly attack. This beastly weapon. Okay, good. It only requires E rank. I guess all the golden ones just have E rank requirement, right? Yeah. But I remember, like, for example, Cetus, the Silver uh, Lance one, actually requires an A rank and he doesn't have enough for it. Even though it's actually a hero's relic. All right, Annette, take your crusher. <laughs> Slay all your enemies. Don't know if we'll really be able to make a whole lot of use of it, but we can try. It's only got a range of one, too. But it's, and it's a magic weapon, so, I mean, it's not using her strength. I don't know. I mean, it could be good. We'll, we'll see. She's only an E plus in axes here. All right, do we get any supports from that? Uh, oh, Hanuman and Gilbert did. Uh, Sedith and Cyril did as well. I think that might be it. Oh, wait, Manuela and Alois. All right, I think we have to end things here for now, guys. I've been recording for a while. That fight took me a uh, good amount of time. So uh, I, don't, I don't know if I should do these off screen or not. I I think probably still want to show at least some of these fights. Um, 
just because you guys want to probably see, you know, what, how people level up and what new skills and shit they get. But um, I'll have to cut it out probably the next episode. Uh, just cut out a good chunks of it. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe for an already come Piggy Penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.